to Charlotte Pike and I want y'all to look at this. Look how cold it is out here. The car is flashing. Like it's cold, but the crazy thing is I don't feel that cold. Probably because I'm not sitting out inside in it, but it's 35 degrees. And I never showed y'all my Tef Tef that I got a while ago, like last year, like a while ago. <laughs> but I just kind of started um, carrying it, but oh, I love it. I don't want to get any more because I just feel like I just shouldn't be paying as much for a purse right now, but I may just need one more, but I love my bag. All right, you guys, I just finished getting my hair done. Y'all will not believe what I just came out to, like, I, I'm really shook. Bro. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, first of all, I don't even know what to do at this point. <laughs> it's like, this is about to be an adventure trying to even drive home right now. Like, but on the bright side, your girl hair, oh, look at my eye. Your girl hair looks too freaking cute, okay? I look real good to be in the house because that's exactly where I'm about to go and not leave. Oh, and I got to shovel ice, uh, freaking snow off the car. <sighs> All right, I'll see y'all in a little bit. <laughs> Beads, which is where um Raina's birthday brunch is at it's raining y'all it's nasty out here it's crazy it's crazy how we literally go from snowing to raining like the weather just doesn't know what it wants to do but brunch is at 12 and i'm actually here on time it's 1206 but i don't see that many people so i'm trying to figure out if i should go inside or not before i run out in this rain because y'all already know you girl been sick okay that's what neck is covered up i have a cough drop in my mouth I, i'm not playing with nobody okay now, i do not have covid guys i swear i've been tested this week i have been tested negative all break i do not have covid um but I have definitely had the common cold or whatever. But it's just that time, you know, everybody is sick. So I just feel like I've been sick forever. It's Raina's birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> So I made it back home. Um, I had to get out of that weather. Brunch was a good old time, but coming back outside, I'm like, ooh, it's still freaking cold. And I refuse. Like, my voice going a little in and out, but I was doing a lot of singing. But still, I got a cough drop in. I am on the road to recovery still, okay? Like, I am, I'm not playing. I am so tired of being sick. But, so I wanted to show y'all um, some of the stuff I grabbed from the mall the other day. I'm officially a fitness girl, I feel like. Well, let me not say fitness, but like, I don't know what to call it. Like, a gym person. I don't know. Like, I'm really like finding that love for the gym. So, I'm like, I'm over here buying stuff. You know, when you buy stuff, it makes you want to like do things more. So, I caught an awesome sale at Nike and got some more sports bras. Oh my gosh. And I'm just like so excited to get to the gym just to wear them. <laughs> but they're so cute, simple. I got them on sale, they were all $19.99, so that was awesome. I got this pink one, I wanted more, but they, people that ran through. And I got this one, that's like magenta. So cute. And I got some more, um, some, I got some pants. And normally I work out in biker shorts, but now that it's getting cold, I'm like, let me get some longer um, bottoms so I don't be sick. But 
So I got these, and I got both these from Burlington. They're like a um like a plum color. I love this type material. I can't really explain what it is, but like it's not like cotton, but it's not like the swishy material. Like I don't I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> but I mean y'all probably know. Anyway, I love these. I love how they fit and like of course everything is high waisted because that's just what I love. And then I got these. They're black and they have like kind of leopard print. Yeah. Like I'm I'm so excited to get to gym to wear them i go back monday <sighs> i already know my trainer courtney's about to wear us out like because i feel like i haven't been in forever because of our class schedule it kind of started falling off not really falling off but like i was missing days starting at the end of november and then once december hit you know our break starts so then i go home so i'm not even here so i'm like we'll just start back up you know clean come january so we start monday and Honestly, she was going out of town, so I was like, okay, bet, we'll start Thursday. <laughs> Honestly, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't in a rush to get back because I already know I'm going to die. But she was like, oh, you know, I changed the day. I'm not leaving. Oh! I'm like, here we go. I'm not ready. Like, I'm ready, but I'm not ready because your girl's going to be in a dime. But now that I'm recording more, I am going to take my camera with me in the gym, so I'll let y'all, you know, see what, um... I guess like what my day in the life is like being a dental student, working out, you know, all the good stuff. I'm trying to get the, the hang of this, constantly having my camera because I'm like, I don't record as much because I don't have my camera with me. So like, that's also a problem. So I've ordered a case and stuff for my camera. Really trying to invest in me this year, to be honest. Like this year is just really all about investing in me and um, consistency. That is my word for this year consistency and that's with everything that's with um the bible my relationship with god that's with youtube that's with things i like to do that's with relationships that's with um school um just really just trying to keep things going because this last semester was honestly rough however it was our first time really back like on well not really back it's our first time pretty much on campus because once when i came in you know everything's online because of covid so in 2020 so this is our first semester fully, you know, in person. I felt like a, a full-time student for once, actually. So I had to hold myself accountable and kind of stay on top of my things more than I would, you know, because at home we just have a lot of free time. Um, so just trying to honestly keep that up and not lose that now that we're going back virtual. Um, but we're still gonna be in on campus for our lab work, thank God, but the didactic courses and you know stuff that can be done online will be online which kind of sucks um okay let me say this it doesn't suck because this way it gives us more time however for me it gives me more time to <laughs> be a little lazy and procrastinate so that's really what i'm worrying about but um i feel like now you know that i can admit it <coughs> <coughs> sorry y'all now that i can admit it maybe i can you know, my goal to work on it. So maybe this time it will allow me to be a little bit more organized with everything, not just school, but organized with um, school, fitness, my diet. That's also another thing I want to work on. I'm trying to not eat out as much. Um, I want to be able to cook at home and stop buying so much food. Like it's really, really bad the way I was eating out last semester. So that's also another goal for this year. So I'm starting off pretty well. Um, I went to brunch today, but I, haven't been eating out when I got back, I went grocery shopping, so I've been doing pretty good, but it's much easier when you have a lot of time, you know, and don't have um, things to do. So that's also another thing that I wanna work on. But but yeah, so I hope you guys have, you know, done all your 2022 resolutions and whatnot. I feel like we don't realize our growth until like we just sit and reflect on the year, like once the new year's coming up, because I was like, mm, there's probably a lot of stuff I didn't really like cross off on my 2021 you know goals but it actually wasn't it was things i didn't even like realize that i even put on there so it was like start a consistent workout i got a trainer so i'm working out two to three times a week now i would like to work out on my own as well so like i go to her two to three times a week but then let's see if i could pick up one more day just on my own to make sure i get 30 minutes of exercise you know in the day because eventually i don't want to have a trainer forever like i want to be able to learn from her and become consistent but then also 
make it a part of my daily life and so i know that right now i don't hold myself accountable so that's why i got a trainer you know what i'm saying i have no choice i gotta report to her at 6 30 on monday and 6 15 on thursday and then 12 o'clock on saturday when she has boot camp you know if i can make it or whatnot so i hope to make more of those just you know saturdays are kind of harder because if we ain't doing community service in the morning or i get right up and start studying or if i'm just trying to rest to prepare to study all day so saturdays aren't the best but uh that's another goal of mine to be able to go more saturdays and hopefully you know being organized what do you think about it it's, it's just an hour of your day it's an hour of your day it's not gonna take up your whole day you know what I'm saying? Like you can, I think that's what I'm realizing now, um, especially from doing more TikToks. <laughs> Call girl on TikTok. I love TikTok. I am finally getting the hang of it. I feel like so old <laughs> on TikTok. Like the kids, my nephew them love it. And I feel like they just upload stuff so easily. And I'd be looking like, how do y'all do this? But now over the break, I took time and created a few of them. And I'm just like, okay, I get it. It's not that bad. So it's just like, it don't take as much time as we think it's going to, you know? So. 2022 is all about just just do it you know what i'm saying just do it we're not second guessing it if you want to do it just do it go for it life life is just too short so i hope all of you guys you know are really doing well i hope everyone's um i know it's hard you know making sure we stay healthy but um let, let's try to you know especially now with the condition of the world and i feel like me being sick has really just put things into perspective I'm like, okay obviously i need to i need to get it together because there's no reason why i've been sick like this i understand it's the time but i'm thinking my immune system is, is you know so well i'm taking certain vitamins obviously it ain't clicking you know what i'm saying so um hopefully i can schedule a doctor's appointment and I, I got blood work done over the break so just being more aware you know of our health and whatnot but i know 2022 is going to be a good year new beginnings new goals just nothing but positivity. We have been down and out for a minute. COVID has really tried to just just tear us apart. I literally, we just literally flip the world upside down. But one thing we do know when God is in control, okay, there's nothing the enemy can do, all right? Because he is in control and it, it don't even matter everything that's going on. We will be fine. And I know that he already has it worked out, you know what I'm saying? But I will continue to, you know, pray for everyone, pray for the world, pray for my family, just to keep us all safe and healthy so i know i've been talking a lot sorry y'all it's my spiel but so it is the night before i go back to class i don't know what i'm about to do <coughs> <coughs> right now to be honest um i think i'm about to go order a little more clothes because for those that don't know i will be um well you don't know because i don't think i've told you i am actually going on a cabin trip this upcoming weekend for martin luther king weekend um a group of my classmates have decided just to go on a cabin trip um so i'm going to be doing that so i need to order more stuff and it's so bad see so yeah, again wait till the last minute so now i gotta pay for express shipping and stuff like that but it's fine so some of my orders will be coming i will show y'all the stuff i ordered um hopefully i can do some tiktoks that'll be awesome too uh, so yeah i'm trying to like figure this figure this dental students and content creator life and trying to mesh them and make them easier for me like how can i make it easier for me to do both to keep up with it because trying to do both is really hard y'all and i'm sure there's people that understand you work a nine to five you going to school nine to five and trying to constantly create content that's not a work like i understand why youtubers and content creators they do what they do and then once they get where they're in a good place they quit the job or whatever because it's a lot of work like not only creatively but just like brain power like just thinking about the things that i want to do i feel like once i shoot one tiktok upload i'm just like drained oh huh? like i'm done for the rest of the day <laughs> so <laughs> all right hope i can get that together but yeah i think this pretty much wraps up this vlog um i feel like it's a pretty really chill vlog i haven't really really done much i just i really just been chilling just relaxing enjoying um enjoying my break and enjoying my time off and then enjoying my free time okay <laughs> because after tomorrow that time is officially gone <laughs> 
but I have definitely been enjoying it. So I hope everyone is in good spirits. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow the girl on TikTok as well and Instagram at the Amanda Simone. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.